Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Chronix Wolf. This is my first video, and I hope you like it. <coughs> Today we're going to be doing the Lord of the Rings Conquest tutorial, just to kind of help out anyone that don't feel like doing it themselves. So, go ahead and let the intro play through. It began long ago when the Dark Lord Sauron crafted a ring of power to enslave the world of Middle-earth. To resist his malice, a last alliance of elves and men marched forth against his armies of darkness. In the Vales of Mordor, we fought for our lives and for our freedom. Learn well the arts of war, for they hold our only hope of victory. And here we go. Move yeah, swiftly. Use that to move. Hurry to the ridge. Our allies wait there. Use the, the right stick to look around as well. A if you want to jump. Watch that round. Here they come. Oh, swarm the ridge. Attack. To, yeah, to attack. X is the weakest attack. Y is a bit stronger. B is your strongest one. So so these guys can all die in one hit, it's not a very good example. But just in case you're wondering where that was right there, this here, that's that's a running attack. It does the same amount of damage, but it's just like a special thing for when you're running. Don't grow overconfident! That was merely yeah. a scouting party! You can do combos on these too. I personally don't use them very often, but they're still useful. Oh, yeah. They won't give up. Neither must we. Well fought. Now we have to use them on the giant crowd. Fight on. Bring those orcs there down. There we go. Oh, yeah, in just case you're wondering how to do the th throwing thing too, you can you hold the right trigger, you see the little cursor in the middle there, and then let go and you just boom. Kind of like your own personal firing arm for your warrior. And if you hold the left bumper here, your sword will catch fire. And you can it's pretty much to do special attacks and stuff. I'd say the flame with the the whirlwind sweep is probably my favorite. I will use other ones every once in a while, but like this one here, that's that's mainly for breaking, blocking enemies. Like if if they're blocking nothing, you do will hit them. Just do this, and they'll it'll just break their block and knock them over and everything. That also was very effective too. What I just did there. Yeah, you see. Also helps if you're not getting if they're not beating the crap out of you too. Okay, yeah, so down the left corner of the screen, got my health. Bottom right is the it's pretty much a charge meter for my fire sword. The more fire s abilities that I use, the less the bar is filled. And then top right is my map and lives and everything. Yeah, see, special attacks require energy. Fight enemies to gain energy. Bring them down with a throwing axe. Yeah, see, here's a th throwing axe. Well thrown! We must reach the top of the hill! Fight up this path! And for all those who were wondering what the heck those little glowing things were on the ground, there's your answer. 
They give you they, they don't give you much health, but it does help. Come here. Yeah, and use you wanna block yourself and hold the left trigger. If you move anywhere with the left stick, you can dodge. And let's see, anything else? No, I guess that's it. They are too many! Smash them with a crowd breaker attack! Yeah, crowd breaker, that's pretty much yeah, you block and hold B, and it makes a huge whirlwind with your sword. So you make sure there's a lot of them over here, and boom! Well done! Your crowd so breaker attack! You can use that when you're Pate spots like that. Not only because of how weak these guys are, if I go just take them, probably just take them on without the crowd breaker. But eh, it's helpful. It gets rid of them faster. These are control points. Those you must, those you have to capture. Like if you're doing a match of conquest, you have to catch capture those to spawn there whenever you die, plus earn points too to win the match. Capture that ground! Keep the orcs away from our banner! That failed. Alright, there we go. Now it's ours. You can also go up to it, hit the right bumper, and change your class to anything you want. See here, RB to change class, and you can this switch the archer, whatever class you want. The There's only four classes, so... Yeah, if, you hold, if you hold down the right trigger, he'll just shoot over and over and over again. Oh, you can also zoom in holding the left trigger. And if you aim towards their head, you'll actually get a critical hit. You know, because, you know, it's a headshot. What headshot wouldn't be a critical hit? Okay, so now I gotta get down there. Down this way. Jump. Stand ready, men! Here they come! Alright. And pr pretty much, if if you're trying to capture a ring, and if this if enemies happen to get inside the ring, it'll stop your capture. Oh, and press when you're not archer, you can press X to kick. Oh, and press Y, your arrows will turn to poison. And the left bumper will be multi-arrow. Pretty much, it shoots out three arrows in three different directions, and if if there's enemies near you, it'll automatically lock on to the three nearest people. I didn't see that. See? I wasn't even aiming that way and it shot that direction. So I could just like do this all day if I wanted to. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. And then it showed you the poison right in the fire pretty much. Poison arrows is kind of a given, it poisons them. Only a scout can give us victory here. And go back to this, and this is the scout. He, scout has yeah, if you press call. the left bumper, you can Use turn invisible. To approach our foes. If you go behind an enemy, and that, see that thing down there on the screen, on the bottom of the screen, under the letters, you'll see it says backstab. You go behind them and press that, just tap it, yes! and it'll do that, and it'll be an instant kill. And then just go back to cloaking. And that meter on the bottom right of the screen, that, that, uh, whenever you're invisible, that slowly goes down. So you have to be smart when using this. And when you, whenever you do this, it completely drains your bar. And just like the with the warrior, you have to fight people to fill it back up. And, and if you're blocking and you do this, you will, you will roll. With the, if you move when you move the left stick, and this this is a satchel bomb. This is pretty cool. It's like a little explosive. 
Yeah, chain combos, XXY. And this is the heavy. Okay, you, just, you can also do combos when you hit the cloak and X close to the same time. Like, you see. No, not at the same time. Okay. So, hit the cloak, then that. You know. Hold on a second. I need to remember how to do this. I don't play the scout much. Um, okay, you hold down the cloak button and then then press X or Y. If I can hit him. There we go. And then B. I like that one. All there is to the scout. Like I said, with the satchel bomb, it's pretty much the same thing with the warrior and the throwing axe. Just hold down the right trigger and then let go when you want to throw it. Yeah, see, so the scout special abilities require energy. And you have to fight enemies to get it. Yeah, this is the satchel bomb. Yes. And I've only got one guy with that. Wow. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah, get in a group there. Alright, there wasn't much there, but... I'm sure I'll give you a, be able to give you a better example later. Maybe. Now I gotta done, go man. back to this, and I can switch it between anyone I want. Preferably, I prefer the you know the archer our or the mage. Um, I'll show you what the no mage mercy. is pretty soon here. Forward. Be ready. The final assault is at hand. I mainly like them because the, they're ranged, and you don't have to get too close to the enemy to fight them. Uh, I love this part of the. World. I love this part of the tutorial because you just get to beat the crap out of endless orcs. This point controls the battlefield. We must capture it to win. Yeah, my my aiming is not too great. This part's a little harder to keep them out of the ring because there's so many. We must capture this final point to win our struggle. Once you thin their numbers here and then it's all gone, they spawn back over there. Where the camp campsite is and stuff. It's a lot easier to Remain capture it. The point is Plus the more people there are in the ring at once, the, the faster it will capture. This wall hinges upon a final point. Capture it, then hold it! I'm gonna go to this, and here's the mage. Slay them with lightning. If, so you could, you could just tap the th tap the right trigger if you wanted, and just get one guy with it, or you could hold it down until his arm goes back all the way, and then it chains across several people. So they just got five all in once there. And, oh, that's your that's your hit me. Yeah, the lightning can chain across multiple enemies, shoot into crowds for maximum damage, like I did Special earlier. This, see, this here, press Y, and you'll do the shock wave, which is that blue thing in the bottom right. Then B, which is flame, will do a lot of damage. And then, see these little, these little green things above my allies? That means they need heal. So, press the left bumper, and you'll heal them. Yeah, see, allies with low health display with this icon. Special powers can only be used with, you know, with, with this energy. With attacks enemies, well, actually, that's not really true with the mage. You don't have to attack enemies to get, to get, uh... The energy with the mage because it actually just automatically refills by itself. Bring those down. Is, 
see. Yeah, you see, it's filling up by itself. So that's not entirely true. Then you can do a manual attack. There's three hits, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, you can do a defensive shield that'll defend yourself from any projectile. I mean any. Believe me, I've tried shooting everything at a shield, and it will deflect it, all of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bash attack. Come here, let me bash my staff in your face. Heal up. Come back over here. It is the Dark Lord, Sauron! The greatest evil in this world! Now, when this comes up, it asks you if you want to play Sauron. hero or not. You know. Shows the D-pad there. If you want to play it, just hit the left part. If you don't, just hit on the right. Yeah. Don't ask me how to pronounce that name, because I have no clue. I'm gonna go kill Sauron now. And as soon as he sees you, he goes straight for you, of course. As you can see, the final part of the tutorial is a little difficult. And you missed. There you go. And that's the tutorial. If you like the commentary in this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more, think about subscribing. I'd appreciate it. Alright, see you next time.